When you're playing organ, you're, you can be more or orchestral. And uh, you can have stuff moving around that just adds to the texture of what's going on you know, in the band. You take your, your ninth tone and you move it down to the root, to the major seven, to the dominant seven, and you suss it. Then you resolve that with the nine to a flat nine. You do the same thing here. The point is I'm not just plotting down the chords, chord to chord, chord to chord, chord to chord. I want to be very economical in how I do it, so let's look at this G minor, D flat 9, I'm not moving anywhere. Then I want to harmonize this E, but I don't want it to sound pedestrian, you know? So uh, what do I do? I go... Okay, I wanted to get some crunchy notes in there. Go to the 2 chord, just go right for your minor major 7, right Larry? You love that one. I hey. love it. <laughs> Substituting a dominant chord for a minor seven chord. Now you say, Larry, uh, how can you? Dominates, dominatize a, 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 a chord if the melody is on the four. <laughs> You're so naive. You just do it. You just do it. <laughs> you just do it. And look, look how I'm doing it. I'm doing it like this. The reason why that works is because you got distance. Okay? You got a nice distance here and you got the seven in between.